Good morning, my loves. Long time no see. I have not a look, Bonnie's like ready for her walkies this morning. We're gonna go for a nice little walk, aren't we, Bubs? Um, yeah, I have not posted on this channel in a really long time, and I just, I don't know, I feel like I wanna start posting again. So today I actually have a few events to go to in London, so I thought I'd take you along to that. And maybe I'll do a little get ready with me as well and like give you a little bit of a life update because it's been like well over a year, I think, since I last posted. We are gonna head out, go for a nice walk, and then get ready for the day. actually starting to feel so much more like autumn which i am kind of here for so i've got my coffee this morning because i was trying to like wait and have my coffee a bit later but when it's so cold like this it's necessary right so for some quick skincare just before we get started with the makeup i really love the bobby brown like eye and face base it's really really nice like makeup just sits really nice on top of it and it smells delightful it just feels luxurious do you know what i mean Pop a little bit of that on. Oh, and actually, before I put on my moisturiser, I love using the Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Super Fusion Facial Oil. It literally, like, I'm sure, like, you know, it gives you a boost of hydration and everything, but to me, it's like a little bit of luxury in the morning because it smells like the most delicious, like, spa smell. Pop that on first and just, like, press that into the skin. Um, and I am I have oily skin by the way and it doesn't make me like super oily throughout the day and makeup still goes really well on top then I'll take a little bit of my well, I say a little bit a fair amount of my Bobbi Brown face base pop that on first and just like press that into the skin um, and I am I have oily skin by the way and it doesn't make me like super oily throughout the day and makeup still goes really well on top then I'll take a little bit of my I say a little bit, a fair amount of my Bobby Brown face base. And then to finish off, I'm going to go with the Magic Hydrator Mist from Charlotte Tilbury. Again, it just kind of smells like a spa. Makes me feel like I'm living my best life, that I'm living a life of luxury. So I'm not going to do anything crazy with my makeup today. Whenever I go to events. Oh, did I tell you that I'm going to events? I think I did earlier. I've got two events today, this afternoon. And then this morning, I'm meeting up with a girl that I met at an event like few months ago she lives in LA but she's over at the moment she asked me to catch up which is super nice so we're gonna have a little bit of lunch first and then I'm gonna head to the two events that I have but whenever I go to events I'll use like my favorite products that I know are gonna work I'm not gonna be experimenting with anything um that I haven't used before uh because I like to know that my makeup's gonna stay on the whole time so that's what we're gonna do but it's also a good chance just to have like a little catch up because obviously I have not posted on here for a really long time and to be honest I think I just got a little bit of burnout with it. I'd been posting on here for years and years and years. So yeah, I think I basically just got a little bit bored of it. But I think it was also the content I was creating, how I was filming the videos. Everything was just so curated and had to look so perfect that it took me ages to edit. And it just became like a bit of a pain. Whereas now I want to do more vloggy style content because that's the stuff that I love to watch. And also it's way easier to film as well because I'm filming on my phone right now. The amount of excuses, I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury uh, SPF primer right now. Yeah, the amount of excuses that I gave myself as to like why I couldn't start up YouTube again. It's like, oh, I don't have the time. You can make the time. I'm making the time right now. Um, but also like I just had in my mind that my content wouldn't be as good if I didn't have like a proper camera, like vlogging camera and like all of this stuff. But actually loads of people film on their phone phones are amazing these days like the quality of the video is great and it's really about the content you're creating and people being able to get to know you a little bit more it's not all about everything looking so perfect so i just decided that i need to stop procrastinating and just do it i don't want anything heavy on the skin so i'm going to use my fenty eavesdrop skin tint i'm in shade six um this is like one of my favorite things it's really long wearing as well especially for a skin tint um but yeah last time I uploaded, I can't remember where I was at in life. Was it like 2021? Oh my God, it literally might be 2021. Um, but basically what I'm doing now, I am completely self-employed. I do content creation, so I'm signed with management now. So I do that on one side, but I also am a trained beauty therapist and I work like from 
a salon where I do like um like makeup and facials and lash lifts and brow lamination and all that kind of stuff as well I can't lie that's been a really hard journey and I kind of I feel like I might be coming to the end of that and I'm struggling to let it go it's just it's not giving me the freedom that I thought it would because it's a lot of hours it requires you to be in a certain space it requires you to rem to stay local because of all of your clients are local um and to be quite honest with you it doesn't make me enough money to live off of because especially in like times like this where everyone's been a bit more careful what they're spending i don't want to put my prices up even though i kind of need to because cost of living is going up and yeah i don't know it's just i feel like it's not what i'm going to be doing long term and on the other side of it I absolutely love and adore content creation like that is that is just my vibe that is what I want to be doing this full time that's what I really want but it's not always that simple or that easy and yes it is saturated it doesn't mean I can't do it but it might just take me a little bit longer than other people um and I have a wonderful management team who are extremely supportive but the one thing I'm really struggling with in this being a full-time gig is that the income is very inconsistent and it's not guaranteed and it's very dependent on like how much brands are spending and maybe the time like different times of year like hopefully um towards the end of the year it should get a lot busier but like I haven't been busy and I still live at home guys I am 29 I turn 30 next year which is a whole other ball game that I'm just like not ready for um and I'm desperate to like start making a really good income and you know fully feel like I'm getting my life together and <laughs> I don't know if I've told you guys before but like I only um went off and started kind of trying to work for myself when I was about 26 so I was quite late in the game and like figuring out what I wanted to do and then we had COVID and it felt like it kind of I feel like I'm having a pity party we're not having a pity party I just yeah I basically decided I wasn't living the life that I wanted to do that I wasn't living the life I wanted to and I wanted to make a change and it's really scary but I'm also extremely blessed in the sense that like I didn't have a mortgage or family or kids or like responsibilities or anything so I was able to and I have the most wonderful parents who don't mind me living at home bless them I'm just going to use a bit of the nude sticks nudies matte in Bondi Bell this is a really nice like cream bronzer shade um what was I saying um yeah so I haven't been in like full-time nine-to-five work since like 2020 um last year I did get a part-time job like in an office space like three days a week just because I was really craving like the consistent income again um and that was a fixed term contract so I was there for about eight months and I left um December last year um but I'm now at a point that I feel like I need <laughs> I need to get another part-time job guys and I don't want to do it I just don't want to do it but I need to do it and I think what I need to do this time is try and find something that is going to tie in with everything else that I want to be doing or like just at least something that I semi enjoy because I think that's like when you're not enjoying the work that you're doing it's just not ideal is it um so that's kind of where I'm at right now I actually did just come back from the most amazing trip me and my friend we're both um single and obviously we're heading towards 30, feeling some kind of way about it. And there's like, I love traveling and there's a lot of um, places that I really wanted to go and see, but I always felt like I needed a partner in order to do that. Um, I don't know what, like, it's just, I wouldn't want to go by myself, basically. I wouldn't feel comfortable or safe to go by myself. And then me and my friend were talking about that <clears throat> and she felt the exact same way. Cause like, she's like the only single girl in her friendship group as well. Um, and we just decided we were going to go together. So I recently got back from a three week trip around Southeast Asia. We started off in Borneo, which was oh, the most amazing experience of my life. Um, that was always more of a dream of mine than of my friends. But she was like super happy that we went because it was the most incredible experience. I got to see the orangutans like, oh, it was incredible. Then we went and we, where did we go from there? Bali, we went to Bali and then we went to the Philippines, then we went to Vietnam, am I missing anywhere out? And then Kuala Lumpur and Singapore. So we did like a little bit of a loop. And I mean, it was amazing. Like, 
I feel so blessed that I was able to do that trip and with her as well we got on so well it was like most incredible experience but it's definitely like weird like coming back and then feeling like I need to figure my life out like kind of use that as a bit of a break and like not thinking about it and maybe like brainstorming and just I don't know oh that was the NARS creamy concealer by the way um it's basically the only concealer that I use but yeah so I'm like now at the point where I felt slightly overwhelmed when I came back because I'm like now I need to like actually figure out my life and like what I'm doing but if you guys are in a similar situation, I just want you to know that you're not alone. And even though it might look like I'm living my best life and I've earned so much money and I'm, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm like blessed in so many ways. I don't mean to like put it down or anything because I'm so, so lucky. Like I get sent the most amazing products. I have like family and friends who are so supportive and I love them so much. And I get to live in the most beautiful home that my parents have built. Like I am like wildly blessed. And I know that, um, but it's hard not to compare yourself, I think, to where everyone else is at. A lot of my friends are getting married, having babies, um, buying their first home. Like, it's really hard sometimes not to compare yourself. But I just want you to know that you are not alone. And babes, I'm turning 30 next year and I'm still in this position. So if you're any younger than me, please stop worrying. Please stop worrying. We will be okay. We will figure everything out. Um... What else did I want to fill you guys in on? I think it's important as well to like shed a bit of light on how unglamorous sometimes this industry can be. Um, it's incredible in loads of ways. I get to go to events today, which is great. I've, you know, I got so much amazing PR when I came back from, um, from holiday, which I'm so grateful for because honestly, even a couple of years ago, I did not get stuff like that. Like I still have to pinch myself sometimes at like the stuff that I get sent because like, I used to literally spend all of my money when I worked in Selfridges. Should I go for this one? No. Um, yeah, I used to spend all of my money in the beauty hall. Like I was obsessed with Huda Beauty. So every time she would come out with a new product, I would literally waltz down to the beauty hall because we literally worked in like the same building. I'm gonna go in with this Rare Beauty uh, liquid blush in shade Grace. It's a nice little pinky shade. Um, yeah, I used to march down there and because we used to get 35% off, which was amazing, um, I literally used to spend all my money back in the store and now I get PR sent from her and I I can't quite get my head around that and honestly it's all down to you guys so thank you so much thank you so much for watching this video right now I know I'm like super rambly today but I just feel like we have so much to catch up on because I've just been so shit and <laughs> I really need to nurture you guys a bit more I'm really sorry that I haven't posted I have been posting shorts and stuff but I know it's not the same I mean now that I'm back from holiday and I literally felt like a complete slug the whole time I was out there I'm definitely back on my like health and wellness journey um one of my really good friends actually has like a coaching membership um I'll put her details actually in the bottom bar because she's amazing and it's literally like global like anyone can join the membership and we all kind of are accountability partners for each other but obviously she has like so much knowledge she builds out your workout programs for you um we have like weekly check-ins um and like coaching sessions and stuff so anything you're struggling with she helps you through so i'm definitely getting back onto that um asap because yeah i just when like i just love working out um it makes me feel so much better about life <laughs> and I've got back into my like uh, daily walks every morning that honestly has changed my life like me and my little doggy me and my little bonnie she's just laying down there um yeah we go for a nice walk every morning and I feel like it just starts the day off right I listen to like a self-development podcast or something like that um yeah and it's just a really nice way to start the day I'll make sure I think I'm gonna film a morning routine at some point um it's gonna be very tricky now that it's so dark um but I will try my best because yeah my morning routines definitely help me like feel just so much better day to day like in such a better headspace I really noticed that actually when I was away because I didn't have any kind of routine or anything like after a while it really takes its toll on my mental health and I noticed myself getting a bit negative and I was like mm, no we're not doing that babes um but yeah, I already feel like so much better. And I think also just like not eating shit because I was really scared whilst I was out there. I'm just going to take a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder. I'm going to go over the top of the loose powder. Um, this just makes sure it lasts like all day. But um, yeah, because I was really nervous, particularly in Bali, of like trying to avoid barley belly. So I can't say I ate particularly authentically when I was out there, right? A hell of a lot of like 
chips and stuff like and I tried to eat veggie when I was out there the majority of the time unless it was somewhere that I was really confident that everything would be would be okay and then I was like super careful obviously with all the water and all of that stuff because this is my first time like going to that side of the world um so I, I just wasn't used to like having to clean my teeth with a bottle of water like every day I had to like remind myself like Charlotte make sure that you <laughs> you use the bottle of water because um yeah it can be it can be a situation if you forget but I was really lucky I didn't have any stomach trouble whilst I was out there and I mean I'm I'm a sensitive tummy kind of girl so I was very very lucky although I did feel incredibly bloated but I think that's probably because I was just eating shit the entire time my brows are a bit of a shambles at the moment and I've kind of given up with them <laughs> I'm on the hunt for a really incredible like brow gel that really really sticks them down because I laminate my brows but you can only laminate them every like 12 weeks and I try to leave them as long as possible because I noticed I was doing it too often and they were getting quite dry um, and it's just not good to process your hairs that often but what I have been using is a brow what's it called brow serum and they've grown like crazy when I was away I literally couldn't believe it because I never have to take tweezers with me anywhere and I bloody need tweezers right now like I'm gonna I, I've got clients and stuff tomorrow no Thursday so I'm going to do my brows like when I get in, I'm going to tint them um, and shape them and everything because Christ, I can't believe how much hair growth this been. It's actually amazing. So I'm going to go in with cream eyeshadow. I'm going to use my Viva Eye Wands and then I think I might use the new Fenty Beauty eyeshadow stick. I used it in a reel yesterday. I did like a little talk through tutorial. Um, I really, really like them. But what I love about cream eyeshadows is literally you just, they're so easy to blend out. And then once they dry down, they don't budge. Um, so it's really quick and easy to use. So I literally just blend and yeah, that will dry and it will last all day and it's bloody brilliant. Uh, I didn't even tell you what I just used on my eye. So I used another eye wand. I went for all matte in the end, actually. So this is sand. So I used camel, hazelnut and sand in the Viva eye wands. Um, and it just creates a really nice, simple, neutral eye. I'm actually going to use a little bit more of my Charlotte Tilbury powder just to set the lid because it just brightens it a little bit more. I quite like a nice, bright matte lid. Um, I'm just a simple eyeshadow girl these days. Do you remember the days that I used to do all these bright, colourful eye looks? I mean, that is not me anymore, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that's what you're here for, but it's not what I'm here for anymore. Actually, as well, I've got sent these new Easy Bake um, pressed powders. I tried it out yesterday, but I just, I, I don't know, whatever I did, I just applied too much and it didn't look that cute. So I don't think I'm going to post that, but I'm going to use a little bit of this powder on top as well, just to brighten. Right, so I've been trying a lot of mascaras recently, like a lot, because I've been using lash serum, which has made my lashes grow like crazy. I use the Grande Lash Serum. I did use the UK Lash Serum before that, which worked amazing, and it was like the cheapest one out there. But it then, I, my eyes got really sensitive to it, and I couldn't use it anymore, which is a bit annoying. The Grande Lash one is about 60 quid, but if you use my Look Fantastic code, you can get 20% off. Um, so it's quite quite a big saving. So if you're looking for a good lash serum, definitely check that out. I'll make sure. I mean, all the info is going to be down below anyway. Um, I'll make sure I include my Look Fantastic code just in case you want to treat yourself, you know. But yeah, I've been using loads of uh, different mascaras because I'm just not a false lash girl these days. Couldn't tell you the last time I wore false lashes. So all I do is I curl my lashes with the tweezerman eyelash curler I can't get over the snoring that she's doing can you hear it <laughs> Bonds you're ruining the vibe my darling are you s oh she's dreaming oh she's dreaming you get that squirrel my Bonds you're right darling you, you was dreaming you was dreaming I heard you you okay did you get that squiggle? Yeah. <laughs> so first, yeah, I just curl the old lashes and then this Rare Beauty mascara. She is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, look at them lashes. Love it. Sorry, I'm getting the mirror all up in your grill. Yeah, this just, I feel like, gives the perfect amount of volume to the point where it doesn't weigh down your lashes. Gives you that little bit of length. It's buildable, but doesn't go clumpy. 
and it separates all the lashes really beautifully. It's literal perfection, just like Selena Gomez is. Oh my God, also, last time I posted a video, wasn't I brunette? Stop it. Yeah, she's a blonde girly now. You know that I was actually naturally blonde. Um, Actually, was I blonde when I started? No, I wasn't. I wasn't blonde when I started my channel. Um, Yeah, I'm actually a natural blonde and I used to dye my hair dark. I know, not quite sure why I decided to go so dark in the end. But I always wanted to go back to blonde um, for my 30s. I don't know, it just feels a lot more me. I feel like I'm so much more confident in the place I'm at right now. And yeah, I feel like I just, I want to feel really authentically me. So I literally went on this rampage where I like changed my hair back to blonde and took out all my piercings and like, <laughs> I don't know, just had like a, felt like I just needed a change and a bit of an overhaul. And now I just feel like totally like myself, even like the way that I dress and stuff. I'm dressing now for like what I truly like, just n not just what's like trending or what I feel like I should be wearing. Does that make sense? Um, I feel like that's just what comes with getting older and like seeing out your 20s. Like my 20s, if I'm perfectly honest, is not my favourite decade. Um, the end of my 20s has been like super fun um I think just because I'm in a better space like mentally and emotionally and like everything um but yeah 20s is, is a hard time I think so you're just figuring everything out you generally go through a lot of life lessons relationship lessons there's a lot of lessons going on and it's just a lot to deal with um so I'm actually Trying to look at turning 30 is something really exciting because I've, I've heard it from a lot of people but apparently like in your 30s it's generally a much better time because you're just so much more sure of yourself and I can kind of feel that already. Um, and again my confidence is just like building and building and building even through like working in the confidence clique. Like we even say to our girls like we're obviously not perfect. We've managed to build our confidence to a level where we're able to show up online and build businesses and do all these things but like we still have a way to go in like in our own personal lives. Like for me, public speaking is a massive one. That's something I really need to work on. Oh, I hate it so much. How does anyone do it? It's like, like sitting here now chatting to you, absolutely fine. But if I was sat in a room with all of you, I think I would freeze up and that's, I, I don't like that. I wanna be able to like completely be myself in like any aspect and in any room. So I think um, we're actually gonna be doing in-person retreats and stuff like that for the confidence kick. So I think that will be really good because it will obviously be girls that I've been working with and that I'm comfortable with and that will be quite a good place to start. But yeah, that's something I definitely need to work on. But yeah, like just because someone shows up as an expert in a certain field, it doesn't mean that they don't have stuff to learn still. Do you know what I mean? Going with a bit of powder bronzer because I just wanna set the cream bronzer in place. So if I'm like out for the day or whatever, I always like to layer cream and then powder. For me, that is what makes my makeup last. It's not all these gimmicks like primers and setting sprays and stuff like that. They're a nice addition, but to me, it's all about setting with powder. Also because I have oily skin, this is the only way that I can actually make stuff last. And actually, whenever I do people's makeup, one of the things that they always say that they can't believe is how it literally stays on all day. I'm like, babes, it's literally that simple. Cream and powder. I actually did not get that tanned on my trip, which I guess I'm not surprised about because it was not a tanning holiday. It was very much like an exploring holiday. The only time that we kind of sat down to tan was in the Philippines. Because I can't lie, Philippines was very beautiful, but there was not a lot to do. And oh, I'm not asking for like loads, but... There was li literally nothing to do. We did one day where we went out on the boat, which was really fun. Uh, we did snorkeling and paragliding and like all of that kind of stuff. For water sports, brilliant. Um, although I didn't see any water skiing. I quite like water skiing. But um, yeah, apart from that, there was not a lot to do. So just bear that in mind. I reckon we could have done two or three days. We booked five days because we thought that there was going to be like a whole vibe. But it was fine. And actually, I... They, they had a Shangri-La hotel like on that island, the particular island we went to, we went to Boracay. And they did day passes for the equivalent of 30 pounds. 30 pounds for it to like to go for the day at a luxury hotel. You got to use the private beach, the, the pool. You got to, um, you got some credits and like food and drink. I mean, for 30 pounds, it was so cheap. That's one thing that blew my mind about Southeast Asia is how cheap it is. The only place 
that was eye-wateringly expensive was Singapore. Mm. If you're planning to go to Singapore, babes, please save up your money because they stay like robbery out there. Eight, eight dollars it cost me for a coffee. Eight dollars. I keep telling everyone because I can't believe it. Eight dollars. No, no, stop it. Oh, this is my favourite blush at the moment. So this is the Dior Rosy Glow in the shade Rosewood. It's amazing. This looks really nice for when I'm glam, but also for when I do my really natural makeup days as well. And it's it's going to last me so long, I'm pretty sure, because I've used a lot of this. And yeah, it still looks like pretty brand new. So that's good to know. Oh, you know what I've been obsessed with? Oh, this is another Dior product that everyone needs in their life. So I accidentally bought this. I thought I was buying the Dior lip oil, but this is the Lip Glow Balm in shade pink. And it is absolutely fucking stunning. Stunning. Um, again, for light makeup days and glam makeup days, bit of lip liner and this, it's honestly amazing and it really easy to top up, obviously, throughout the day. As you can tell, this is much loved because it's really small right now. I need to sharpen it. This is the Estee Lauder Spice Lip Liner and it's delightful. I will have to repurchase this one because it is a favourite. It very much gives me like well from MAC vibes. That's the kind of shade that I like. Something that's pinky but with a little bit of brown in it just to like deepen it up a little bit. My Desert Island makeup product is a lip liner. I love lip liner. I literally took hardly any makeup with me when I went away. But what I used every day was this um, glowish concealer from Huda Beauty. Really, really lightweight. It literally looks like you're wearing nothing. I'd pop a little bit of cream blush on and a lip liner and that was it. I think I'm going to go for my trusty pillow talk from charlotte tilbury this is like my fave and then what i do rather than taking a matte one out with me i will take my dior lip balm with me and that's what i reapply with and then it just gives it a really nice natural little glossy look but i like to have like the base of like a matte lipstick just so i know it's going to last okay i think the makeup is done um i don't really use highlighter anymore either i think because i Generally, I get a little bit of shine on throughout the day anyway. And then with my hair, I basically just did like a little flick at the end because I just couldn't be bothered to do like a full curly look or anything. Um, and this literally took me like five minutes. Oh, what perfume am I going to wear today? For perfume, there is one that I have been obsessed with. So basically, when I got the Selfridges Advent Calendar last year, they had quite a few like mini fragrances in there. And this was one of them. My mum also had the Selfridges Advent Calendar and I did steal this from her because I went through my perfume like so quickly. This is Hibiscus Mahjad from Maison Crivelli. It is the most delicious, warm, sexy scent. I can't even describe to you how it smells because I'm just terrible at describing scents. But it's, it's so warm, it's a little bit sweet, like it's just delightful i just love it so much but <coughs> i literally just sprayed that in my mouth oh my god you don't need to spray that much you can literally spray like one spray and it will last you oh my god <laughs> i'm fully obsessed with astrid and miu at the moment and these actually these are um earrings that my friends got me for my birthday but i love them so much i have like a mini version as well but they're just so pretty and i really love the gold i have a lot of silver jewelry but i'm slowly moving over to gold Cute. Right, I hope you guys enjoy getting ready with me. Um, I will be taking you along to the events. How much I'm going to film, I don't know, because I am meeting up with the other girls from my management, um, as well as a couple new girls that have joined the management agency as well, which will be really cool, so we can have catch up. Um, and I don't know if I want to shove a camera in their faces, but if they're also filming, then it might work out well. Um, so yeah, I'll see. I'm just like, I'm not comfortable vlogging in public yet, but hopefully at the events, it won't feel so weird because everyone else is in the same boat so we'll see i'll catch you in a bit oh my goodness oh my goodness you were snoring whilst i was doing my makeup ups how am i gonna leave that cute face all day how am i gonna leave that cute face <laughs> look at these big paws no i like holding your paw you don't let me hold your paw okay tummy wop tummy wop 
Ooh, she's a, just a scrummy girl. She's just going, oh, look at these big paws. I just can't cope. Look at them. You're like a little lion. You're like a lion. Are you my special girl? Are you my special girl? I love this little white tuft under her, her little chin. God, you're cute. <laughs> Forcing her to, <laughs> to be a vlogger. get into the, the phone booth. Oh, where are we? Did you lie down? Hiya. Oh, Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. Hello. Hello. Do you want a photo in there? Like, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. So you, you, just <laughs> <laughs> you just walked in there. <laughs> I thought he was going to do oh, something no. in there. <laughs> Good morning, my loves. It is now the next day, and we're sitting in the exact same position we were yesterday. Um, so yeah, after the, the events yesterday, which I think I showed you a little bit of, but I don't feel like super comfortable to like vlog in public yet, so we'll work on that. Um, and then I went and met my parents for dinner afterwards, and obviously didn't film that. Then got straight home, took off my makeup off, went to bed, and I've just taken Bonds for a little walk, and she's so tired, she's laying on my bed in the background, and I have my coffee. For this morning and then i'm gonna get on with some work it's a real like admin day for me i've got um i need to edit this video i have some work i need to do for the confidence kick but i really hope that you guys enjoyed spending a bit of time with me i've missed you guys and i've missed doing this um so i'm really excited to film some other videos let me know in the comments if there are any videos that you want to see in particular otherwise i will catch you guys in the next one all right bye <laughs>